Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my channel, Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. I'm so happy that you found me. Uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Today, folks, I'm doing a video I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time. Very excited about it. It's a video about all the secrets of Prospect Park, a place that I grew up right near. I grew up on Prospect Avenue. I had a store on Prospect Park West, the Hallmark Gold Crown store, for 25 years with my family. So stay tuned for a really cool video on Prospect Park and all of its amazing secrets. Now, when I say all of its amazing secrets, I probably stand corrected because each and every week or day, I find out new things about Prosper Park that amazes me. So in this video, I'm gonna to try to do something a little different. I'm gonna throw out a bunch of history. I'm gonna add video clips of things that I've done videos of. I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, please stay tuned, folks. I hope you enjoy the video. What I didn't know was that a lot of the animals from the Prospect Park Zoo actually came from England. It was a place called the, ba the Bostock uh, Animal Zoo or whatever. It was like a traveling zoo. And during World War I, when the British government took over where the zoo normally stayed at for a large part, the guy who owned the zoo actually decided to sell all the animals. So people in Brooklyn realized this, people from like a conservatory, and they actually bought the animals for $3,000. And the animals came over like in 1915. So that was really the real beginning of the Prosper Park. I mean, there was always a zoo kind of there since the beginning, but that was like the real beginning of the zoo becoming like a really big place because they had all these exotic animals. They had bears, lions, and tigers. Oh my, all kinds of amazing stuff. So another amazing thing about the park, folks, is that Barack Obama, our president, 44th president, used to live when he was in uh, school, he, he, you know, graduate school, he used to live right near Prospect Park. He lived right off of like, uh, right off the park side. And uh, I have a video on this, so stay tuned and this, you'll see it. But he used to jog around Prospect Park and you know, this was like in 1984, 85, I believe that's when he lived there. We had our store then. I, I wish he would have come into the store. Maybe he did. Maybe I met him, I didn't even know it. But he used to jog around the park. In fact, when he came back to do a speech at Prospect Park, when he was president, he actually mentioned all of this. Another amazing thing, folks, was during World War II, there was actually gun emplacements put on the top of uh, what we used to call Suicide Hill. Another cool thing is the shirt that I'm wearing. You can see it's a Captain America shirt. Captain America was uh, obviously his hometown is Brooklyn, New York. And in 1996, when Captain America was celebrating his 25th, I'm sorry, when he was celebrating his 75th, anniversary, uh, his birthday, they actually constructed a statue. Now, the statue no longer rests in Prospect Park because a lot of the folks who run Prospect Park didn't feel that it was proper for like a, you know, Marvel to um, have a, a commercial statue in Prospect Park. I mean, I thought it was great. But anyway, I actually went to the event, the unveiling of the statue, because I was working for the um, Disney store at the time. And uh, I, was, I was sent there as one of the representatives. And I was able to get this cool shirt and the statue now rests in Sunset Park. It's at the uh, retail shops right near the waterfront there. But for, for about six months, Captain America spent his home over in Possible Park. It was really, really cool. I'm, a, I'm obviously doing this channel. You know I'm a person who loves to do history, but it, 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 the, the amazing history that's tied to the park, I mean, you talk about the Soldiers and Sailors Memorial, which is in Grand Army Plaza. That has an amazing part of that 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 archway. It actually has a, an image or a statue part of President Abraham Lincoln, who's actually my favorite president. And President Abraham Lincoln is on that memorial, and he's he's shown on a horse. Now, I think it's probably one of only two or three depictions of Abraham Lincoln on a horse. I mean, Abraham Lincoln was almost never shown on a horse because as you guys may or may not know abraham lincoln was our tallest president he was six foot four and he wore those tall um what do they call them those, those big top hats and with that top hat he was massive so they very rarely showed him on a horse so if you guys walk at grand army plaza and you take a look on the side i'll throw a picture up of it you'll see this this depiction of president abraham lincoln on a horse which is so so rare cool and amazing thing is, a lot of folks don't realize, but those maybe who, who do realize it, we actually have a cemetery inside of Prosper Park. It's a Quaker cemetery, and it has some famous residents. One of the most famous residents in there is an actor named Montgomery, Montgomery Clift, who was a Quaker, and I believe there's about 2,000 people buried in that cemetery. It's mostly closed. You can go in there. If you're a Quaker, you're allowed to go in there, and if you don't know where it is, you can kind of miss it real easily, but if you go to the park and you go in from kind of like the... Um, 15th Street side, or you're going from like the, you know, the Grand Dummy Plaza side. It's pretty pretty easy to find in there. So, um, but you just can't go in. Just be respectful. But I'll throw a couple pictures up there of the cemetery and also of Montgomery Cliff's tombstone. 
Another cool thing about the park is, again, it's, it's got a lot of ties to war, and I guess, you know, wars are big things, obviously, but it, it has what I call one of the most amazing things in the park, which is the um, Angel of Sorrow statue, the Angel of Death statue, which I'll put the, the location of it up there. It's basically a statue that was put up there to, uh, for, for the guys and, and girls who died in World War I, and there was over 2,800 people who gave their life for the war effort in World War I. And this amazing statue is one that I associate with these days because um, if you're watching this video and you watch my channel, you know that we lost our son to suicide in August of 2019. And um, it was, it, you know, I'd like to think that uh, before Matt passed away, um, people often say that before you die, um, your soul comes out of your body. And uh, I'd like to think that because um, it's just better for me to look at it that way. But anyway, with this statue, it's amazing because the statue is an angel with her, it's, it's a de depiction of a soldier, as you can see, and the angel is kind of, has her wing around the soldier, and the soldier is leaning back, kind of listening to what the angel has to say, and um, I, I think that's very poignant, but you could go visit this, uh, this amazing statue, it's in the park, and uh, it, I think it's one of the most incredible things ever, and it's one of those secrets that a lot of people just kind of pass over and miss over if you don't really know that it's there. Another fascinating thing, folks, is that there are so many celebrities moving into Park Slope right now. It is, is incredible. I mean, just to name a few, we have uh, Patrick Stewart from Star Trek and the X-Men, of course. We have Anne Hathaway from all the Batman movies and made a couple of Robert De Niro movies. We have Robert and Kristen Lopez, who are amazing composers. They wrote the score for Frozen. They wrote uh, Avenue Q. They wrote the uh, Book of Mormon. You know, it's hard to imagine, uh, but, you know, walking around Prospect Park, but the, all the music to Frozen 2 was actually made while they walked around Prospect Park, and uh, it's totally incredible, but you're having all these celebrities. Um, Matt Damon just moved into Park Slope. He actually bought, it was, I believe, like eight months ago, he bought the most expensive condo. I think it was $16 million. It overlooks uh, Manhattan, but it's right, in, it's right near the side of, of the park side. Uh, so Matt Damon's another one, one of those guys who came in there. Um, Steve Buscemi, uh, who's also uh, a very, a, from Brooklyn and Staten Island area, he lives in there. You also have John Totoro, who I actually met. He came into the store. He was doing a, a movie called Mac back in the 19, 1990s. And he came in and he asked me to put a poster of him in the, uh, in the window. And I said, absolutely. And he was this big, tall guy. And he hadn't really hit stardom at that point. But um, a lot of people know him from the Adam Sandler movies, uh, especially from Mr. D. He played the butler. He was even in a lot of serious roles, too. He was in the second, um, the taking of Pelham 1, 2, 3. But uh, nice guy. So he lives over in the area, too. So if you guys are walking around and you think you see a celebrity, you're probably right because there's a lot of celebrities who live right in Park Slope. Another cool thing about the park that I didn't realize was that during World War II, there was these things called Victory Gardens, which was a way of like helping to win the war. And I didn't realize that a lot of that was started in Prospect Park. There were Victory Gardens in Prospect Park. And in fact, like I was telling you about the gun emplacements before, there was over 300 soldiers stationed in there. And um, it was one of the precursors to, um, to the Victory Gardens. Now, folks, as promised, here's some video clips in and around Prosper Park. Hope you enjoy them. 640 2nd Street, right there, right up here. I'm zooming in on this. Right there is where Barack Obama lived way before he was president of the United States. He had just graduated from Columbia and just imagine how many times he walked up those steps. Regulars over here, and I was going to say hello to the neighborhood regulars, and I asked them a question. Hey guys, how you doing? How are you? Uh, what doing a video here. How are you? Surprised to see you guys here. Did you guys know that we have so many celebrities living in the 11215 area code? I got two to my left right, and right. here. Two right here. What's your name, buddy? Steve. Steve, and we got Jimmy, who's the Duke of Windsor. And who do we have here? Uh, oh, tired. Camera so, shy. Camera shy. <laughs> awesome. So you guys know we have so many celebrities living in this neighborhood, right? So many people living around here that are, I think Steve Buscemi, Patrick Stewart, Robert Kristen Lopez, a lot of, lot of amazing people living here. But these are the real amazing people, the residents of Park Slope, Brooklyn. Heartfelt. Heartfelt. Awesome. So folks, this is Al signing off from Kindred Souls in Brooklyn. Please drop me a like, subscribe if you So Dad, how did you get the idea to come I here always, back? I was always fascinated by the tombstones here, and my children used to enjoy the park and the peaceful, the peaceful atmosphere here. 
and on the hottest day, you come up here and you're on the highest part of Brooklyn, you always get a nice cool breeze. And what about the day we came to Operation Sale? How did you find out about that? It was in a paper and we walked in here and sure enough, we had a beautiful view of the harbor and of Jersey and it was a real amazing sight to see and we enjoyed the day being here. Yeah, it was fabulous. It was hardly anybody here too. And I still enjoy just sitting here and looking at the whole view that you get here. It's just absolutely gorgeous.